Hi guys, Rachie Bob here. Today I'm doing a video, which I'm very excited about, of Siri versus Alexa. That's one of the downsides with Alexa, is that you can't say her name without her going off. And there is a button you can press to make it not here, but it's not great. And currently it's lighting up like crazy because you can't use it either without a power source there's no plug near me over here, so I'm using my battery charger to keep it charged. In fact, let me just throw that down behind me. So now she's ready, and Siri's always ready. Because they've implemented it so you have to say hey before his name, that's really great. Also, I find Siri better because he's just with you all the time. So it's much better for setting reminders and things like that, because if you have it on this little thing here it's only going to tell you if you're in the room and otherwise it will just light up on your phone in which case you could have just told Siri so I'm going to show you Siri on the iPhone 8 Plus in rose gold and I'm going to be speaking to Alexa on the Amazon Echo Dot in black I'm going to ask them a series of questions some actionable, reasonable, useful questions and some little funny nuggets, they're what I generally use day to day, a splash of each, so I will be showing you what their response is and then you can evaluate if you think either of them are useful at all. But yeah, personal opinion, I would say Siri is useful and she is a gimmick, but let's see. Hey Siri, what's the weather like? It's currently cloudy and 7 degrees in Bridlington. Expect rain starting in the morning and cloudy skies are in the afternoon. Okay. Temperatures are heading down from 8 degrees this morning to 6 tonight. I find Siri to be extremely accurate when it comes to weather. Let's see what Alexa says in comparison. And Ale she always, 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 she's listening, she always tells me there's a flood alert in place. Even if it's not raining. Alexa, what's the weather like? In Bridlington, it's 7 degrees with showers and mostly cloudy skies. Today, oh. you can expect showers with a high of 8 degrees and a low of 5 degrees. Oh, Siri said 6. But yeah, pretty much full on the, the same then and no flood alert. Oh my god, I'm quite surprised. Hey Siri, sing me a song. I'd rather leave that to the professionals. Alexa, sing me a song. A song? I'd love to. Your circuits are fused, you're feeling confused. That's probably the best feature. Okay, another useful question. How do you say, where is the toilet in French? Où sont les toilettes? Alexa, how do you say, where is the toilet in French? Where is the toilet in French is? Où se trouvent les toilettes? Okay, they equally did a great job, but what helps is that Siri shows it on his screen as well, and you can press play and listen to it again. So that's definitely more useful, I would say. But I guess that's where the Echo Spot and Echo Show might come in, because they have a screen and maybe they do that on there. Do you love me? Let's just say you have my utmost admiration. Alexa. Do you love me? There are people I admire and things I can't do without, but I'm still trying to figure out human love. What do you think of Alexa? I think the acquisition of information and intelligence by human beings through virtual assistance is a very good thing. Alexa, what do you think of Siri? I like all AIs. Oh, you guys. Tell me a joke. The past, present and future walk into a bar. It was tense. Alexa, tell me a joke. How do you get a baby astronaut to sleep? You rock it. So I also find that obviously Siri is set up to your voice and that is very useful for me with this accent and Siri will only understand me and only respond to me whereas she will respond to anyone. So if you have someone who comes around to your house, sees that you've got one, 
they can then command her to do all kinds of things, which they will, and then you'll end up with a massive Amazon bill and have to do lots of cancellations and returns. Or you'll end up calling people that you didn't want to call and it's just super awkward. Although, obviously, you can press that button, but who ever remembers to do that? How many stones in a kilogram? The answer is 0 0.16 stone. Alexa, how many stones in a kilogram? One kilogram equals 0 0.16 stone. Both equally as useful there. I do find when I set an alarm or a timer, the sound is so gentle on this that it I very rarely hear it. Also, you have to be in the room to hear it. So again, Siri wins outright. But she is better for topical content, I would say, like asking what's on television or when something is on on the Olympics. For example, when is figure skating on on the Olympics? NBC's broadcast of the 2018 Winter Olympics started on the 9th of February and will end on the 25th. You can get all the details at NBCOlympics.com. See, that's not much good because I'm not in a country where NBC is even relevant and it does take me to the website, but again, it's not relevant. Whereas, Alexa, when is figure skating on on the Olympics? In figure skating, the mixed ice dancing final will start tomorrow at 1 a.m. The next figure skating ladies event will start this Wednesday at 1 a.m. So much more accurate information locally in terms of TV listings and topical events. For example, if I say to Siri, what has been in the news? Here's some news. It will tell me the news, but it's all written out. Whereas, Alexa, tell me the news. Here's your flash briefing from BBC News. There we go. The latest BBC News update. The government is launching a year-long review of higher education Alexa. funding in England. Alexa, the stop. Okay, so that's much better. Hey Siri, when is Easter? Easter is on Sunday, the 1st of April, 2018. Alexa, when is Easter? Easter will be on Sunday, the 1st of April, 2018. Hey Siri. Are you a robot? The humanoid mind. You are inquisitive. Alexa, are you a robot? I'm Alexa, but I talk to you through this. Are the FBI listening to this conversation? I don't understand. Are the FBI listening to this conversation? Alexa. But I could search the web for it. Are the FBI listening to this conversation? Sorry, I don't know that. It should be a definite no, should it not? What do you dream about? That is, I wondered, by the way, their winter suddenly was changed to spring and gentle odours led my steps astray. Alexa, what do you dream about? Sorry, I'm not sure. Oh. Hey Siri. Blue pill or red pill? Oh, wait. I know this one. There is no spoon. Alexa. Blue pill or red pill? Sorry, I don't know that one. Oh. What's the quickest way for me to get to California? Getting directions to Sacramento, California. Alexa, what's the quickest way for me to get to California? Sorry, I couldn't find a route between your locations. Oh. Okay, so we'll finish with this one. Why did the chicken cross the road? Maybe the chicken is standing still and it is the road that crosses under it. <laughs> Alexa, why did the chicken cross the road? Perhaps the chicken saw some tasty corn. I don't know. Okay, well, Siri makes me laugh more. Siri is more useful. For me, Siri is the outright winner and so much more useful but also fun, whereas Alexa is a little bit more of a... Oh, stop. Alexa Sorry, is... Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa is more of a topical, gimmicky device 
to be used in one location. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you have any funny questions or useful questions that you've found let us know those in the comments too. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, see you later. Goodbye.